Hey everyone, it's Marty. I'm just going to give you a little insight into how I'm going to be doing some of this filming at the protest. At the moment I've got this on my uh, Samsung, but I'll swap the camera around in a minute and uh, you can see then what I'm going to be bringing down. I thought, right, what we'll do, if we were doing any interviews, say in the hotel afterwards, say that I wanted to interview some of the XJWs that are coming over from the United States, um, I decided that I'll bring this camera. So I've got this other one here. This is also a Sony. I'm a big Sony camera lover, have been for a long time. And this is quite decent. It's got a flip out screen here, but I can attach a monitor to it and I can put a shotgun mic on that one as well. And I've got this, uh, this clamp and I've stuck a monitor on it. I might get a new monitor. This is a seven inch one. I might just get a 5.5. Uh, 4k one uh, But this is cool. This would be absolutely perfect for setting up in the hotels uh, Just say you wanted to do some interviews in the evening time because we've got people coming over from the United States and It'd be a nice way for them to introduce themselves uh, to the UK, you know, they can announce their names and maybe they could uh, say what uh, websites that they're currently running uh, You know we can have their YouTube names and they can send a little message, can't they? And, you know, if we get like a hundred protesters who are staying in the hotels in the London area, we can do something quite dramatic with this. It's just an idea. Uh, you've all got your own ideas, naturally, but I just thought if we can find an area in the um, pub or the hotel after speaking to the manager and then just set that up in the evening time, Every evening after uh, the JWs have gone home after the assembly, then we can just have a bit of fun with it and just do different interviews and get it all captured. Anyway, you have to let me know what you think. Okay, so this is your run and gun rig. Uh, it is a 4K camera. I've put it on a monopod. Uh, it's got a shotgun mic. It's very good quality. This is the kind of typical camera that you'd see um, low-key protest newscasters using. They wouldn't have a really big rig when they're in the protest because you're a target. You know, uh, if, if you see them with a big camera, the protesters, they could just come and smash your camera. But if you keep it low-key, something like that, it's absolutely perfect. It's what... Uh, it's known as a bit of a run and gun, uh, sorry, a run and gun affair. But there it is on the monopod like that. That monopod will extend up to about six foot. Well, I'm six foot three. So to balance it on that height. Also, it will act as um, added height if I wanted to angle the camera over a crowd or something like that. Then it would quite easily... Um, get to a height of nearly sort of eight foot, so I'd get a bit of an aerial shot as well of the crowd. Be pretty cool. But this is going to be for me the workhorse. This one, perfect little workhorse. This, and quite inconspicuous. I can really tuck that in quite, uh, quite local. You know where I'm not going to stand out like a sore thumb if we got gay crashes or anything like that, because I wouldn't want. Uh, the gate crashes to uh, to damage any of my gear, obviously. But yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be uh, pretty good, and I think it's all coming together. So that, they're the two main cameras. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you those things and uh, see what you think, and see whether you agree that uh, yeah, it's a great idea. Great idea to bring a couple of cameras that are capable of uh, getting full HD and more, and. Um, because I know that you will be, um, a lot of you will be there with your uh, placards and you won't always have the time, will you, to get your cameras out. So I just want to make sure that I get everything. I'm not going to be wearing uh, or holding a placard myself. I might wear a t-shirt, you know, one that's got a dedicated message on. And that'll be about it, really. Um, I'm not really going to be stood there the way you guys are. But what I am going to be doing is walking up and down. Uh, wherever people are sort of protesting, I'm going to be running and gunning between wherever they are. And hopefully, if we can communicate on the phone, 
because something's going on, um, I can get there quick enough and capture it. And that'd be great. And I am getting a little excited because this is a bit different from me. It's a bit of a departure from what I'm used to. I normally just film bands. And uh, I think last year I did about 20 different bands. And I might not be going to the festival this year, although the event uh, organiser, he doesn't know that yet because I haven't told him. He still thinks I'm going to be uh, recording all the bands this year. I think that this year there's there's 12 on in August and that's co it's going to coincide with the second week of the protest, the, the festival that I normally do the filming at. So I might have to give back word on the festival. I'm certainly going to be there for the first half of the protest week. Uh, that's when I've got the hotel booked for. I'm staying at the Premier Inn. And the second week, I'll have to see how things are. Um, it's not as if I can't afford it, because I can afford to stay for all the duration. It's just that I might have responsibilities up in the north of, the in of England if my dad isn't so well. I've got to be there and assist and, you know, personal things, which, as you, I said before, they have to come first, don't they, before your own um, complicated and uh, hobbies and all that. Okay, so that's how I feel about that, and I'm going to uh, leave it for there. And uh, I'm just going to talk about the, the event organisers. Uh, they seem to have everything pretty much uh, down to a fine art, and that's very good. It's very good to see. And we, I don't think we should need to worry about too much. Um, if we need to ask any questions, I think they're all going to be covered at the preliminary meeting. I'm sure they're having a meeting just to set the scene, just to let people know that we need to stay within certain boundaries when we're protesting, just the rules and regulations, um, which a lot of people are not aware of, you know. This is a legal protest, so uh, we'll be entitled to be there. And um, we don't know what media is going to be there yet, what uh, TV stations and what have you, but I'm pretty sure they will be there. This is something that doesn't happen every year. It's uh, well, I've never taken part in a protest against the Jehovah's Witnesses ever. You know, this will be the first for me. So, um, mm, very exciting. So, cheerio, everybody. Have a good day. Bye bye.